Welcome. This presentation is an overview of what our office tends to see on a submitted organizational report. We hope you find this presentation to be informative and helpful. The organizational report is the first report required of an over threshold committee. The contents of the organizational report should include any contributions received or expenditures made within 10 calendar days from the committee's first activity. The date of that first activity establishes the period start date on the organizational report. The period end date for an organizational report may be no later than the 10th day following that report's period start date. The reporting forms due are determined by transactions that occurred within the period start and period end dates of this organizational effort. Statement of Organization. I will be referencing account code throughout this presentation. The account code can be found on this form, section 6B. This will be a code created by you to reference your committee bank account. If you are unfamiliar with this form, please contact our office. Disclosure Report Cover, CRO 1000. This form serves as the cover sheet for all disclosure reports. If you are not amending a report, check the no box in the top right. Fill in the full name of committee, mailing address, date filed, and phone number. In this example, DK Morrow for office is the committee full name. Debbie Morrow is the candidate. Report year is the calendar year for the dates covered by the report. In this instance, it is 2023. Period start date is the date of the committee's first activity. Period end date for an organizational report may be no later than the 10th day following that report's period start date. Fill in treasurer's full name, check type of committee and type of report. In this example, type of committee is candidate campaign, type of report is municipal organizational. Fill in number of fundraisers this report, financial institution full name, purpose for which this account is used, account code, and period begin balance. Certify this report by filling in printed name of signer, signature of appointed treasurer, and date. These dates should likely match. Contributions from individuals, CRO 1210. This form is used to report contributions from individuals. Page one of one, this may vary depending on the number of contributions received. If you are not amending a report, check the no box in the top right, fill in committee's full name, list the contributor's full name and mailing address. The treasurer needs to maintain record of the contributor's phone number, but will not list that information on this form. Fill out the contributor's job title, profession, and employer's name, specific field. Principal occupation guidance can be found on pages 53 and 54 in the Campaign Finance Manual, located on the State Board's website. In this example, Debbie Morrow is retired. For retired, you would list no job title and not employed. For in-kind contributions, list the in-kind description, date the contribution was received, and the amount or fair market value. In-kind contributions are non-monetary contributions, donations, goods or services provided to the committee or fund. In this example, the candidate, Debbie Morrow, paid her $5 filing fee from personal funds. In this next example, we're going to list the account code as the contribution was deposited into the committee bank account, form of payment, date the contribution was received, and the amount. 
please be mindful that contributions over $50 must be made with a verifiable form of payment, for example, a check or a draft. A check was deposited to open the committee bank account on July 11th in the amount of $100, and notes indicate that in Section D. The contributor's election sum to date is their total contributions to the committee from the start of the election cycle. So Debbie Morrow has contributed a total of $105 election sum to date. Total only this page is the total of each CRO 1210. Total of all CRO 1210 pages is the total of all CRO 1210 forms for that reporting period. In-kind contribution CRO 1510. This form is used in conjunction with any in-kind contribution recorded. All in-kind contributions would be recorded on a contribution form and this form, which is considered a disbursement. In-kind contributions are recorded in this way as the contribution is not touching your committee bank account. Page one of one, this may vary depending on the number of in-kind contributions received. If you are not amending a report, check the no box in the top right. Fill in the committee's full name. List the contributor's full name and mailing address. The treasurer needs to maintain record of the contributor's phone number, but will not list that information on this form. Select the type of contributor. In this example, Debbie Morrow is the candidate. Provide a description of the in-kind contribution, date the contribution was received, and the amount or fair market value. This will match the information provided on the contribution from individuals form example. The contributor's election sum to date is their total contributions to the committee from the start of the election cycle. As seen on the CRO 1210, the election sum to date contribution from Debbie Morrow is $105. Total only this page is the total of each CRO 1510. Total of all CRO 1510 pages is the total of all CRO 1510 forms for that reporting period. Disbursements, CRO 1310. Separate CRO 1310 forms will be used for each of the three types of disbursements. This is an example of operating expenses. Page one of one, this may vary depending on the number of disbursements. If you are not amending a report, check the no box in the top right. Fill in the committee's full name. Check the type of disbursement for this example, operating expenses. List the payee's full name and mailing address. The treasurer needs to maintain record of the payee's phone number, but will not list that information on this form. List the account code, form of payment, purpose code, date the disbursement was made, and the amount. Section seven at the bottom lists available purpose codes. Please note some purpose codes have required remarks this is an example of one that does. Required remarks can be made in box K. The payee's election sum to date is the total amount paid to the payee from the start of the election cycle. Total only this page is the total of each CRO 1310. Total of all CRO 1310 pages is the total of all CRO 1310 forms for that reporting period. Detailed summary CRO 1100. This form provides a summary of all disclosure reporting forms. 
If you are not amending a report, check the no box in the top right. Fill in the committee's full name. Fill in the type of report. In this example, it is the 2023 organizational. The start of election cycle will be January 1, then the year after the last election for the candidate's office. In this example, the last election for this seat was in 2019. The start of this election cycle will be January 1, 2020. Cash on hand at start for both columns should begin with zero for this report. Pull totals from each form type, the CRO 1210, CRO 1510, and CRO 1310, and place those figures in each column for this report. Line 12 is a total of all receipts. Line 18 is a total of all expenditures. Line 19, you'll add lines four and 12 together, then subtract line 18. Total in both columns should always match for line 19. This should also match the total in your committee bank account. To get to the State Board of Elections website, type in ncsbe.gov into your web browser. Hover on Campaign Finance, click on Reporting Forms, then scroll to the bottom of that page. Under Categorized by Type, you will find the library of forms and instructions you will need to complete these forms for your required reports. 